or what this is going to be so so awkward so let's just get it out of the way shall we so this is an after okay don't look at my broken nail my skin is not perfect obviously but so much better okay now that i have sufficiently flashed you guys <laughs> It looks over here. Does look okay? Can you see everybody? Do I look like a gremlin? Okay, cool. Star would sell her soul for a treat. Huh. Would you sell your soul for a treat? Would you sell your soul for a treat? <laughs> Sponsored by Boo. I'm just kidding. Like this video to give Star a treat. <laughs> oh, okay, fine, sorry. Okay. Come on. Want those treats? You better cuddle, girl. All right. The lighting is probably so bad. I like literally set up a lighting situation, but for some reason, I feel like it's not that good. I don't know why, but sit down videos are just so nerve wracking to me. Like, if I'm out vlogging and like going on a hike and like da da da, that's one thing. But the, it's like, it's giving job interview, except for I'm not dressed nice, but <laughs> it's giving homeless job interview. <sighs> so, where do I start? <laughs> um, God, this is going to be so much fun to edit. I wrote down little notes and stuff because oh, this is one of those things where it's like there's timelines and like things that names of medicines that I just don't even know. This skin issue took a year and eight months at least. <sighs> um, it's very confusing because okay, backstory real quick. I have always struggled with having sensitive skin. I have been diagnosed with eczema. I'm going to be inserting pictures or whatever that I have saved throughout the last year and a half. So I'm just gonna like describe it the best I can. Oh yeah, so I guess I should give a disclaimer. I am not a doctor. I don't know anything about anything. I'm just telling you what happened to me and that's all. You might ha not have the same skin problem as I do, obviously. Everyone's skin is different. Don't take my word for any of this. Like you should go to the doctor and like they'll figure it out. The big official first breakout thing that I have like noted or whatever in November 2022. I'll insert the picture here. I never had that specific type of breakout before. I've had like red spots or like a breakout here or there but this was weird because it was like as you can see from the picture a million tiny little whiteheads. It was like bizarre looking. Couldn't figure out what exactly like started it and it was just really weird and it was like itchy and uncomfortable and all that right and it kind of like calm down a little bit after that so i didn't like run to the hospital or anything but starting from then on it kind of just never fully went away like and even when it would kind of fully went away, go away something would randomly trigger it like i could not figure out whether it was like what i was eating my stress level like the weather i couldn't figure out what it was because it would just randomly kind of like flare up and stuff it felt like it was it would get worse when i was stressed out but then i was like which came first the chicken or the egg was i stressing out because of the rash like i have to grab my water <sighs> i just realized that i didn't look if i was recording by m wouldn't that suck if i did this whole video and then i didn't like even record it <laughs> i would kill myself okay Oh, I'm gonna need my phone for this. Where's my phone? Oh, my phone's all the way over there. Far away from me. Hold on. Got to get the, look at my um, leopard fuzzy socks. I just love wearing like big sweat clothing to just be like all. Back to what I was saying. Um, November 2022, the breakout in the neck happened. I showed you the picture. I did not end up going to the doctor about this until December 9th, 2023. I, you know how many tears and just like, yeah. I literally feel like I'm going to start crying right now, but I'm not going to cry because I'm not that big. Every once in a while this happens and of course it had to be my birth month. I swear to you, I have tried everything, everything, everything. To be honest, I kind of don't even want to film myself because it's so gross. Like, why? 
why? I just want it to go away. If you've ever struggled with skin issues, you understand how frustrating it is. It's embarrassing. It's like, it's just stressful. And you feel like you're trying everything. So you're like, I've tried everything and nothing's working. So you just feel so defeated. And anyways, it sucks. So I finally went to the doctor about this. At this point, I still know zip zero nada. And they're just basically like, if you've had a rash that doesn't go away for more than like, I don't know, a month, you should definitely go in. Like, and you know how badly I wish that I would have just gone in? So like, if you're watching this and you have skin issues and you can't figure out how to get rid of it, go to the freaking doctor. Like, just go to the doctor. So anyways, December 2023, I go in for the first time. They give me prednisone. The prednisone is something that basically stops like whatever it is that triggers your body to like respond. I don't know, whatever. I'm not, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, but they give me five days of prednisone and it freaking worked. I'm so excited. I'm like, oh my God, all this time, I just could have gone to the doctor and took, taken this prednisone and it's over, whatever. I was so stoked. I thought I was like cured. I was like, this is great. By the time the pill is all the way, like the five days are up, skin was still a little messed up, but it was like healing. They also gave me, I'll insert the picture of it, but they also gave me like creams and stuff, which is like, you know, whatever to make you not itchy and all that. And probably for healing, I don't know. But a few days after I take the prednisone, it's, I think it's all better, I'm so excited. And then after the prednisone wears out of my body, it comes right back with the fury. And I'm just like, fuck my life. I was not happy, especially because I got my hopes up and I was so excited. So I go back into the doctors. So they tell me I should go to a dermatologist or recommend a dermatologist. I don't know what, you know what I mean? Set up an appointment at a dermatologist place. I think it took like three weeks to actually like, you know how the freaking healthcare system is? It takes forever. So like three weeks later, I finally get my appointment. I go in um, and he basically looks at me and he's like, oh yeah, like you have a skin infection. And I'm like, he basically tells me, like, you have folliculitis. Folliculitis is an infection of hair follicles or something like that. You can get it from, like, fungus or you can get it from bacteria. So he gives me this diagnosis and he goes, I'm going to prescribe you 90 days of antibiotics. I'm just like, first of all, whoa, that's crazy. I've never taken antibiotics for longer than a week. I pretty much was like, I don't care. I will do anything to get rid of this. Give me all the drugs. I'll do anything. So, he gives me that, I leave, I start taking these antibiotics, um, this was a very stressful and annoying 90 days. January is when I started the antibiotics, it was 90 days, so that's three months worth of the antibiotics. So February 24th is where I noted that I started to see like a really good improvement. It took, oh, 21 days in. So 21 days in is when I was like, wow, I'm seeing a really big difference, yay. The side effects were so bad. So. First off, um, I was sick as a dog a lot of the time. You have to be really careful. I guess everyone's different. I had to be very careful with when I was taking it and what I took it with and like all, all this stuff. And then I found out later through trial and error that I was eating like some of the wrong things and like some of the things I was eating was like triggering like more extreme side effects. So like, it's just like a whole thing. So that was a pain in the butt. I don't really need to go into that. Maybe I'll just list you know what? Yeah, I will list the side effects stuff because you're not here to hear about the side effects of this drug. So, okay. So when I got those antibiotics, he also prescribed me and told me to do this like at the same time. He gave me this like benzoyl peroxide body wash stuff. So every time I took a shower every day, maybe every other day if I somehow didn't get a chance to, but I tried to take a shower every single day and I use this benzoyl peroxide body wash. And then I also, after the shower, would rub this like, I don't know what it's called. I'll put, it's like cli, cli something, but um, I would roll it onto my like skin wherever it was like you know, itchy and whatever after every shower. And then that was it. And I would put on like lotion. I'll insert the lotion. Why am I blanking on the names for things? It's, like, it's just lotion. I also took probiotics during this all because when you're taking antibiotics for 90 days, like you need to take probiotics because it's literally killing all of the bacteria in your body. And it's just, it's hard on your body. Like I was tired. I even remember I got like dark around my eyes a lot, dark whatever. It was just, my body was going through it. Skip forward. I had this weird thing, I'll insert a picture, on my hand where it's like, I'm pretty sure it was a sunburn, but I still don't know 
for sure what it was. One of the side effects is like sensitivity to sun. It was like on my knuckles here, my nose and my forehead kind of like, my side effects were so bad I actually went doctors on duty or whatever. My niece and nephew were riding around in their little like kid cars. <laughs> So cute. I was like, okay, I'm gonna stop taking this because it's giving me these side effects. And doxycycline isn't like some other antibiotics where you have to finish taking it. And I didn't want to like wait to ask my dermatologist because like, like I said, it takes forever to like get an appointment. It ended up being the wrong decision, but at the time that's what I thought I had to do because I thought I was having an allergic reaction or something. I got hungry. Don't know where I was exactly. Where... Oh, the, I stopped taking it. Then, a week or two after I stopped taking my antibiotics, I had a flare-up. And I was like, hmm, cool. So, I continued to take it. Uh, life continues to suck. And also, like, my skin never fully cleared up again. After that, it did get better, but it just, like, you know, didn't fully get better. Now, I'm starting to think that the reason that it didn't clear up is because I unknowingly had not only a bacterial infection, but I think that I had a small fungal infection too on my skin. If you take antibiotics, it makes you more prone to getting fungal infections. So whether I had it already or whether I got it after taking the antibiotics, either way, I'm pretty certain that I ended up getting a little bit of a fungal infection on my skin on top of already having the bacterial infection. So of course, because I'm like doctor, patient over here i was like okay my doctor didn't do any like tests like my dermatologist before he gave me the antibiotics he just gave them to me after just looking at my skin he didn't do any tests he just looked at it with his eyeballs and was like i'm giving you antibiotics so in my head i'm like okay well how did he know it was um bacterial and not fungal right did he just say i'm just gonna guess i don't know then i found out that you can take a swab of their of someone's skin and then decide under a microscope whether it's this or this but he didn't do that and i looked it up like can you have both like whatever and I looked up and you can have both. <sighs> Anyways, fast forward, I, I finished all of my antibiotics and I have a random appointment for like my ADHD, like my psych person. I told her, yeah, I'm done with my antibiotics, my rash is like almost gone, I'm so excited, right? And she's like, 90 days, like you were on antibiotics for 90 days, that's intense. I'm gonna prescribe you a medication because <sighs> basically as a woman, if you're on antibiotics for like, that long like you're almost certainly gonna have some like ph imbalance or whatever it's called with your hoo-ha so she prescribed it to me just as like a kind of like just in case or if you want to just take it and then i thought what is this medication exactly for it's for a, a yeast infection like it's for like fungal stuff right so i looked up what the, this was prescribed for or whatever and it was actually prescribed for lots of reasons not just for that and it was about like fungal stuff and so i was like you know what even if i don't have a yeast infection it's not going to hurt me to take it because like what if i do have an imbalance i just can't tell or whatever right no harm in taking it so i decided to take it at this point when i finished my antibiotics my rash hadn't fully gone away it was almost gone I still had this slight rash happening but just on my chest it was really weird I had like a feeling i was like i feel like it's fungal i don't know why but i feel like it's like a slight fungal infection from taking all those antibiotics and whatever right so i took the whatever it's called forgot what it's called i'm not even going to show this to you guys unless it actually works but i'm taking this diflucan i already took one last night and i'm taking two more but anyways it's a antifungal thing if my i was thinking this is like something unrelated so yeah if this clears up the last bit of it that's on my chest i'm going to literally scream with joy i was thinking in my head if this freaking cures like the last part of this rash like i'm gonna be like yeah. I knew it. and sure enough a couple days later i did notice an improvement at that last part that was just not budging and i'm like okay by that point i was almost like convinced i was like i know this is fungal or whatever so what i started to do is i got some of that like uh the cream that you use for athlete's foot and like ringworm and all that stuff i started putting that on my chest area where it wouldn't go away after doing all the other stuff that i did every day like you know body wash and like the after thing then i would put a little bit of that stuff and sure enough when i started doing that it literally was like boom <laughs> And it went away. I didn't interrupt for a second because I was just looking this up because I was curious and I found this. And remember I told you about that pill that my doctor gave me? That is what it was. And then I started putting the antifungal cream on my chest. 
that's what I did. So yay, go me. The official day that I like say that the rash is completely over is July 2nd. Cause that's when it was fully gone and it had fully been gone for a day or two. And I was like, I think this is over. So yeah, that was July 2nd. Yay, yay, yay. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Since then, I'm still using the body wash, the after rolly thing. So far, I have not had another flare up. And whenever it starts to think about it, I always like knock it out with like what I do. So I'm so happy. <laughs> this was a long, 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 long time coming. So yeah, I hope this helped you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Oh, I started your locks in my hair. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and all that stuff. <laughs> and we will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. I mean, like, you've already, like, seen my boobs, bro. Just subscribe. <laughs>